sheer excellence today. We have a fundraiser coming up, and I was just trying to find out a little bit more about it. I am here sitting with Daryl. We're going to find out a little bit more about Psych Dog Charlotte. So, what is Psych Dog Charlotte? Psych Dog Charlotte is a nonprofit company uh, that we started a few months ago. Uh, it's actually helping to raise the awareness of psychiatric service dogs and how they can help people who have been uh, diagnosed with a mental condition, whether it be depression, bipolar, panic disorder, all the way up to multiple personalities, post-traumatic stress disorder, and schizophrenia. Um, dogs can actually do tasks that will help people more than medication will. Like for example, say you have a panic disorder or a panic attack and you're out in public, um, medicine would take 15, at least 15 or 20 minutes in order to kick in for your panic attack to go away. Well guess what? You can have a dog right there and the dog can immediately help to calm you down quicker than the medicine would and the only side effect is love. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So what was the inspiration behind Psych Dog Charlotte? That's a great question. Thanks for asking. Um, my sister uh, was actually has uh, multiple personality disorder and dissociative disorder. And she was uh, diagnosed as a psychiatric service dog uh, from Dr. Tia Conser here in Charlotte. Um, we had a dog named Alex. He was a 140 pound lab. And whenever she felt uh, really off kilter and weird, Alex would sense it and he would lean on her. Unfortunately, Alex died last August, and so it hit our family really, really hard. And so when uh, we told Dr. Conter about it, Dr. Conter had said, hey, listen, have you ever heard about psychiatric service dogs? And we were like, no. So it seemed like the perfect fit. And so we found out more about it, got a prescription. It took us about a month to find out the process because there's, it's such a new concept that there's really nothing about it on the internet. In fact, we had uh, my friend Morgan Fogarty from Fox Charlotte looking for us as well. And finally, after two weeks, Morgan was like, I'm not finding anything. And I'm like, I'm not either. So we're like, we have to change that. We've got to go ahead and make it uh, a nonprofit. So it was inspired by Rianne, and it was her dream to go ahead and help other people the way that uh, Taylor has helped her. And, and that's how it started. That was the inspiration. Okay. Now, has psychiatric service dogs helped you or anyone else that you know personally? Well, obviously it's helped Rianne, but um, I also have been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. And Taylor, our, our dog, actually helps me as well. Uh, I've had a couple panic attacks out in public, and, and Taylor just helps out immensely. Um, the other funny thing is we can't go anywhere without people wanting to say hi to her. Uh, she's been on Fox News Rising, uh, and Morgan Fogarty also did a story on Taylor as well. So it's funny, where anytime we go out in Charlotte, people usually recognize us at least once when we go out. So uh, it's really fun, but definitely Taylor's helped me uh, a, a lot. And she does a lot of other tasks as well. Uh, even. Uh, guard dog. You can learn how to go ahead and, and check a room, security check a room. They can do so many tasks that people just don't realize and that's what we're trying to help uh, people understand. What is the process to getting a psychiatric service dog? Well, it's actually uh, a pretty serious process uh, in order to be legal. The first thing that you have to have is a doctor's prescription. Um, just like a doctor would prescribe you medicine, literally the doctor writes a prescription or a letter um, that says that uh, you're disabled in, in a mental way, gives the diagnosis, uh, and then says that they recommend a psychiatric service dog for treatment. Once you have that, you gotta pick out the dog that you want. Uh, and, and usually, it, I always say, leave it up to the person what their dog is and, and what kind of tasks they need. Uh, compared to what dog they get. So, I mean, you wouldn't want a poodle and then want to get a security dog. It just doesn't mix really well. Um, but you have to make sure that the dog that you get is going to be able to perform the tasks that you want. The next step is to get it trained. Um, and you can either go to a private trainer. 
Uh, you can send it off to get it trained or whatever. Legally, a psychiatric service dog must be able to do at least one task related to your disability. And it also must pass the American Kennel Club Good Citizenship Test. So legally, it has to pass the AKC Good Citizen Test and do one specific task for your disability. Once you have a signed doctor's letter, once the dog does that, totally legal, that's all you need. And your dog can go with you anywhere according to the American with Disabilities Act. In fact, Taylor has been on airplanes with us. Um, she's flown in planes, she's been in restaurants. She can, a psychiatric service dog can legally go anywhere that the handler is allowed to go. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Now, we're hosting a fundraiser here at Sheer Excellence. Yep. Tell me about the fundraiser. Well, the fundraiser we're really so excited about. It's October 22nd, uh, Saturday night, uh, from 5 until 10 p.m. And you guys are going to be here. Laura Henderson, the owner, is so generous to be able to allow us this venue because, I mean, look at this place. It's the perfect man cave, right? So we want to be able to make sure that everybody comes out and learns about this great place and the staff here. We're going to have music. We're going to be have catering by Jackalope Jacks. Um, and a lot of networking. There's going to be a lot of people from... Uh, other charities in Charlotte that are going to be here. Uh, I know that you guys are going to be doing free demonstrations like scout massages and stuff like that. So to all the guys out there, if you don't come in and do this, you're going to lose your man card for sure because this place rules. Um, and then we're also going to have a, a canine boot camp is going to be donating uh, free dog training lessons. Uh, Gorgeous Glow, which is ranked one of the top ten uh, spray tan salons in the country is going to be donating uh, free spray tans. So there's going to be a lot of stuff to, uh, to to give away and meet new people and learn all about psychiatric service dogs. So we're really excited about it. Now, how can other people get involved? Well, the best way is to come on out and give us your money. Because <laughs> right now we just started, uh, literally, we just started and got our articles of incorporation last week. So we are starting from zero. So donations are always welcome, but you know, time and, and giving talents is always great too. So help spread the news, help spread the word about the fundraiser. Uh, you can visit our Facebook page. Uh, you can go on Google and just search Psych Dog Charlotte and we'll pop up so you can learn all about it that way. But spreading word of mouth, coming out to the fundraiser and of course, Checks are always great. All right. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure talking with you today. Thanks, Amy.